Welcome to Mary's Coaching Corner. The concept I'm going to focus on today is the six sweet spots of a company's performance. The twist is that I want you to walk away inspired by my passion for looking at performance. The first sweet spot has to do with the technical side of performance at the individual level. It's where you create an environment of success rather than trying to get people to do their job. An environment of success includes the, providing the tools that an individual needs to be successful. It's about co-creating expectations up front, not just telling them what's expected in their job, but co-creating expectations so that they take ownership of the performance and the goals they want to achieve. Sticking with the individual level of performance, now we're going from the technical side really looking at the human side, because the technical side of performance doesn't work without the human side. The notion here is really shifting from this mindset of managing people or avoiding micromanaging people and making it about coaching performance. It's creating a partnership between coach and coachee around what that individual wants to achieve, not some hierarchical need to manage people. Moving into the team level of performance, the technical side is really taking on this notion of continuous improvement. It includes mapping out the team's work because that's the only way individuals really see how their work intersects with other people's work in service to stakeholders, including customers. Once you map out that work, then it's helpful to scorecard the process. How do we know we're winning? Well, it's looking at the key measurements of that process and measuring and tracking those so that we have sort of this scorecard. Finally, it's scrutinizing the tools. The first place to start is documents. What documents drive our process? Are they redundant? Are they online or we have this abundance of paper? Uh, are we using systems that are redundant in nature? So scrutinize the tools. Okay, again, at the team level, the human side is really getting to the DNA of team decision making. This is one of the most powerful kinds of performance consulting I bring into organizations, is looking throughout their organization, how are decisions being made? And it really centers around these two key concepts. Form teams on purpose, again, not because of some hierarchical structure, but form a team for a specific purpose. And then I love to help uh, clients elevate their team meetings where it isn't about the discussion, which often is lots of discussion and very little action, but really honing in such that what comes out of a meeting is a cl clarity around what decisions were made and what actions were promised. Looking at the technical side of performance at the organizational level, Sweet spot number five really is about integrating strategic planning into the annual business cycle. I often get asked if I can facilitate an annual retreat. My answer is yes, and only if it's integrated into an annual cycle. One meeting a year does not provide leaders with the thinking space they need to be strategic about the business. The other thing about an annual retreat is it's often for just the quote unquote leaders. And when we work with companies to integrate strategic planning, uh, there's a whole system in which we support companies to get employee involvement, to get every team member, every stakeholder with that business participating in a strategic planning process. Number six, this is the human side of performance at the organizational level. And it's all about being intentional with the human experience. Some will call this the culture of an organization, which to me, culture equals what are people actually experiencing when they come into contact with our organization. So it's not only what the employee's experience is, but vendors or anyone walking into the organization. The idea here is that you create a culture by design. 
the human experience I want people to come into when they interact with me is play big. For others, it's this notion of 100% ownership. For others, it's a culture of legacy. So designing culture on purpose creates this human experience. Boom. So we've talked about performance at the individual team and organizational level, paying attention to both the technical and human side. So these are the six sweet spots of performance. I hope I've inspired you to be curious and really look at how you can be intentional about these six sweet spots. All right, so what's next for you? My hope is that you're inspired to get really intentional about your company's performance. And here's ways that I can support you. Uh, you can access other videos. Um, you can book my team to come in to provide an educational lunch and learn. And we can connect on LinkedIn. All right, have a great day. And remember, ensure that you, whether you're an individual or a leader in an organization, are carving out the thinking space that you need to be strategic about your performance.